In this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate Wi files for HTML, the software development kit for the visualization and rendering of graphs and networks. Um, in fact, all you need to do, do is um, make sure that you have Node installed. The, so let's check the version. Um, version 14 is fine, version 10 should be okay too. So the easiest step is to actually go and do npx y files. That's just a dummy package. That's not what you, what you will do is not execute y files, but what it will do it will open the web page for you and more importantly tell you uh, what you should be really doing and that is npm installing globally the y files dev suite, the development suite. Uh, this will go and um, once you enter this with a yes and install the y files minus dev suite command onto your PC. Um, this is a tool that will launch a browser once it's downloaded and installed and which will guide you through the evaluation steps. So as you've seen, um, this started a server and opened it on localhost as a server and it opened the page for me. So this is the welcome um, page of the dev suite and it will guide you through the remaining steps. So let's see what uh, steps need to be performed. Uh, if you haven't yet uh, downloaded previously a Wi files package, it will allow you to do this via an evaluation version. So uh, just hit the download button over here. And then you can set up an account uh, uh, with our um, development, uh, with our evaluation services. It will allow you to download one. Uh, you can either create an account via email and password or use uh, Google, LinkedIn, or GitHub uh, for the authentication. Let's uh, just use GitHub in my case. Um, so I already um, completed my profile and verified my email address, uh, which is uh, not necessary in the case of GitHub. And, and now the next step, is to actually request an evaluation version. And let's just do this here. And typically, if you haven't done this before, you will be get automatically an approval within a few seconds. And so let's wait for this to happen. And now that it worked, I can start the download. First, of course, as always, uh, read through carefully through the license and accept it and then um, determine where to download the package so the package will contain uh, the library as well as the demos the documentation and so on so in my case I'm just going to go with my desktop so this will go and prepare the download on the server and then actually download it uh, onto my system and extract it. This is a rather large zip file with um, over 200 demos, uh, the library, the typings for your code completion for JavaScript and ty TypeScript, and the complete documentation. So let's wait for this to finish. Perfect. So um, while we are re reading the additional steps um, um, in the background it already started some some preparing work for the next steps so we download it so let's click continue um, we all since we also created an account we we are already successfully logged in into our customer center account and so this will then allow us to um, request support from the support team and get other benefits. So um, in order to work with the demos, it's recommended, but not necessarily install, not necessarily required to have Git in your, in, on your system installed. This allows you to uh, see the diff in your, of the demos that you modified it, roll, roll them back and so on. So I can, uh, Auto detect my version of Git and it's already auto detected. And so I can just hit continue. Also optional, I can specify the IDE that I want to use 
in this case Visual Studio Code. Um, this will be used for opening and editing the demos. So I just got my fresh evaluation version. It's for version 2.400 and it's an evaluation license that uh, I can use for the coming 61 days. Um, the package has been pre prepared already. Uh, so what I can do is I can just go and start the demo server. This is all uh, explained in detail in the first time setup, um, but let's see how that works. So this will actually install um, the little server that will allow me to browse the various demos that, that are part of the package. I can browse the demos and also manage them via this button over here. So the, the demo server is up and running and um, what this tool will also do is fetch a version um, of the demo so that we can roll back and perform the diff. So this is initializing a, a local Git repository um, to, to allow me to see the diffs of the various demos. So let's wait for the demos to load. There will be JavaScript and TypeScript demos, demo versions um, of, of all the demos. And you can use this screen over here to um, search the demos for a specific um, uh, feature and launch them. Once it's done, let's check what it's, what it's still doing. So this is still uh, unpacking the zip package. There it is. Let's take a look at the getting started. There's actually uh, a filter for the tutorials. Um, so let's take a look at the very, very simple demo. Let's take a look at basic interaction, but you want a JavaScript version of it. And we can just, because the demo server is running, we can just go and execute that demo. Now this is Wi-Fi is running on my own device um, and I can uh, debug and modify it. Uh, for example, since I, I specified my ID, I can just go and hit edit demo. This will open my IDE, the one that I specified before. And um, this is the, the demo and let's let's make some changes here uh, let's change let's remove some of the of the notes or let's remove the, add another note note 4 let's play it at the bottom of the graph we can save that and if we reload the application we get to see this new note and um, I can also now check see that this is one of the, the uh, demos that I modified and I can search for the modified demos or start it as an important demo for me and via the options I can see what changes I, I have applied. In this case I see that I modified the graph initialization and I can also revert the demo to the clean state before or request a support um, for once I run into an issue. So that would work by just pressing request support and I can optionally tell it to um, include the diff for the support personnel so that they can help me and see the changes that I made. And I'm saying, okay, I want this diff to be included. Hit continue. And this will log me back into the support center where I can start and write my questions. So please help me get rid of the fourth node. That's probably not very helpful, but um, this is something that you can customize to help our support personnel, of course. And now I sent the message and once I get a response, um, there will be an, a new message uh, highlighting highlighted over here. This one is actually um, the one I haven't read yet. Um, which welcomes me. So, and um, you will also get a notification once uh, once the uh, support came back to you and tell you how to fix your problems. So let's just revert the demo. And now, if I go back to my IDE, 
the fourth node is gone again. Using this way, uh, automatically we, we the IDE got set up with the code completion and the, the library is added as an NPM module so that you can go and start coding um, with either TypeScript or JavaScript. And once you have explored all the demos and the documentation and watched all the various videos, um, this dev suite will also allow you to create your own Wi Files app. There's a set of videos that guides you through the various steps and options that you have when you want to create your own application. So please check them out. Thank you.